Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to DEFCOM. My name, of course, is Robert Potato. I am joined by uh, by two rascals who are also in contention for world leader in a post-apocalyptic world. Would you care to introduce yourselves, lads? I am playing as Soviet Russia, and I am Mr. Jacobin. Your ch your challenge for this this playthrough is is you need to speak in a Russian accent the entire time. Oh God, that's not going to be cool. Today. <laughs> considering that's not considering that's not actually a Russian accent, I think he's already lost. I know that was dodgy as anything. <laughs> Oh man. I, I'm an American accent. I, I am America, and if you ask me to do an American accent throughout this entire playthrough, I'm going to punch you in the face. Oh. Meanwhile, you need Anger to do a French accent. No, 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 no. I'm going as Europe. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, as you and Steve Kalgar is uh, is yeah. North America. Ready uh, up, fellas. Jacob yes, is, yeah. uh, is Soviet Russia. And I am, of course, Europe. Europe, the good, the good old Europe. And in case you've never played this game before, it's sort of a, a nuclear defense missile attack air force bombing game. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty what, cool. What, what is known as a war game? <laughs> no, no duh, no duh. All right. So the first stage is the stage where you have to place all of your defenses. Now, it's going to be interesting, like, where can I, where do I want to place my defenses? I think I'm going to go for a pretty standard layout. Alright, I'm going to go for an extra one there, just in case, to make sure that you uh, you don't destroy it. And now I've got to place my silos. Now, silos can be Guys, used... Got a spectator. That's cool. Oh well. That's that's, that's all right. So uh, so now I'm going to place my silos. Now silos can be used as anti-air sort of placements, or they can be used as nuclear missile launching things. They only have a um, every single nuke device only has a limited number of nukes. Yep, yep. They've all got ten nukes. So uh, I can go there. Just put that. There. there. So yeah, I've I've gone for the the traditional strategy of my centers of population must be protected. Yeah, uh, I have also gone for that strategy. It's going to be really really difficult. I mean, with me and you, we're really close to each other over here. Uh, oh yeah. Um. Uh. You can also do uh something on the lines of ceasefires. So mm -hmm. I'm a I'm actually going to offer um a ceasefire to orbital potato. A wise decision, I must say. Uh, and I'm also going to offer a ceasefire to Steve Calgar because in because uh, in in the words of um, a computer uh, the only winning move in a nuclear war is not to play <laughs> yeah and that's and that's what I'm doing I suppose you're right so we've got Jake, some have uh... you asked for a ceasefire yes uh, oh uh, you have to ceasefire with Accept the it, other yeah. Uh, you have to enable a ceasefire. Basically, what that does is you cannot target that person, but if they don't ceasefire, then they can still target you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Anyway, so, I'm going to start making some uh, some fleets. Uh, orbital, do you want the ceasefire? Not really. Well, too bad because I've just sent the order. I've, I've just. Well, that means you won't attack me, but I'll just be able to attack you. Yeah, but that means any nukes headed for my area from either of you will disarm themselves. No, it won't. It'll just yeah, mean it that will. your your nukes headed towards me will disarm themselves. That's because if, if you agree to it and then I don't, then uh, you know it's going to be interesting. All right, there we go. Yeah, Jake, you you worry me. You worry Ow. me, son. What am I doing? You just I know you, okay? And if ever I knew a bigger scumbag, well, let's put it this way: I don't think I've ever known a bigger scumbag. Oh, thanks. You know, you should actually take that as a compliment. Yeah, I'm going to speed it up I, now, I, guys. I am taking it as a compliment. Uh, guys, so, it's going to be DEFCON 4 soon. Yeah, it's I'm worried. So, basi yeah. so basically, as we progress also. through the DEFCON levels, um, everything gets a little bit more extreme. And, you know, we so can... So DEFCON uh, 5 is complete pace. Like, you, you can't really do anything. Yeah, pretty much. And then DEFCON 4, you can... What can you do? What can you do? I genuinely don't know. It'll tell us. 
probably will. All right. Yeah. So as you can probably tell, the uh, the lowest speed is is what it's run at. So at the moment, Jake's got it on the lowest speed, one time speed. Because I'm deploying my stuff. Because he's deploying his stuff. That's his excuse anyway. Oh my so, goodness. So um, there are three different ways that you can uh, launch nukes at someone else. Uh, there are aircraft carriers and airfields. Uh, they can have fighters or bombers be launched from them. Uh -huh. uh, there are submarines, which uh, fire nukes but have a limited range. Uh -huh. uh, and then there are the silos. Anytime that you fire a nuke using the silos or submarines, uh, everyone will be notified of where that silo or submarine currently is. Yep, pretty much. Oh my goodness! Look at look at this border that we've got going on here. I can see almost all of your stuff. I know. I can see all of yours. That's crazy. I, oh, I know you can't. That's why, Jake. Right? Honestly, if ever there was a time for us to be a good team, it's now. Now is the time. Now is the yeah. time. Now is the time. I mean, we've got uh, we've got a ceasefire in place. Let's. Let, okay, you see. You see, we've got fleets up in the North Atlantic. And the Baltic Sea. Yep. You see, I've got fleets there. You've got fleets there. What about we... Oh, I, I can't see your fleet there. Oh, okay. Actually. I've got a fleet there. What about if we disarm that fleet and we, we take it away and you travel to the... Hang on, how, how, how do you disarm it? Well, we just move away from the area. Okay. Is that fair enough? Well, I can't... I can't... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fair. It better be. It's completely fair. Because technically, I don't need any, like, nukes anywhere because well i don't need any naval units because i can just nuke you from here well i mean if you wanted to be a douche about it but yeah i suppose all right oh request to join this alliance what <laughs> oh <shit. laughs> excellent oh right. now we can see everything of each other's you you two are scumbags. <laughs> oh, you have you seen my whiteboard? I was I was testing it out. I was trying to identify the largest population areas. <laughs> let's yeah, I, let's I saw that. let's draw an action plan. Oh, this is great. Right. Okay. So, primary targets that we want to hit is this area and kind of this chunk. Wait. Are you are you drawing it on? Because I can't see. Yeah, I'm drawing it on. Oh, show all. There we go. Okay, yeah, fantastic. You two are evil. All right, so your ships. Seriously, guys, don't go do that this. way. That way. In fact, uh, no. This submarine. Screw that. Going like that. This. That one. Stick that one up there. Yeah. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. This is fantastic. You two are evil. That's horrific. Oh no, hang on, hang on. Uh, <laughs> this is great, we're totally strategizing over this. I love it. Uh, how do I erase? Uh, you just hold right click. Uh, no, we don't want a Minara. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Right. Um, that means that no one has to get killed by the nukes. All right. No, no I want to see. No one has to be killed. We can this, all leave this. this. Uh, so this diagram basically means the entire. F <laughs> this this is getting a bit messy. This is a bit how, ridiculous. How do you erase? Uh, okay. You hold right click. Yeah. Uh, erase all of those arrows that are in the Atlantic. <laughs> because I, I'm I'm going to make it look better. Okay. I am going to have no people left at the end of this. Correct. That's that's the point. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to flip it. Uh, all right. Two there we times. go. Yeah. Please do. While we. Well, we make fun of of the fact that Steve is going to die so hard. <laughs> so mean. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is so good. I like this. I like this a lot. This is... <laughs> what the heck? Should we... Can we... Can we deface the map? <laughs> oh, don't. Oh, God. <laughs> this is a children's pro... Hang on, is it? <sighs> Wow, ugh, I'm just gonna like not show it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. People will be watching. Get watch rid of it. People will be watching on my perspective anyway. All right. In fact, no. I reckon we could do it. We could do it against. Uh, 
Right. What about this? What about this? <laughs> no, we're not so, doing it. No. So this no, is our, this I'm, is our action I'm plan. I'm getting rid of the whiteboard. Just this is our stop. action plan. All right, there we go. There we go. You right. guys suck. Some some of that. There we go. At least boom, a puppy would have been on my side. Boom. A puppy. A puppy. Oh, okay. Alright, there we go. See, so you like my plan? You like my plan, Jake? Hang on. Alright, we need to stop mucking around with the whiteboard and actually start playing the game. Yes, we do. Right. Yeah, get... Okay, so let's get rid of uh, all of our attack arrows that keeps the target... Oh, I've ones. just turned off whiteboard. Uh, okay, well, get rid of the huge thing. The huge dong. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Uh-oh. Right. Uh, your forces are making contact. My forces won't be there for a while. No, it's going to be a while. Alright. I've got a lot of ships over here, Steve. You might want to retreat. Genuinely a lot of ships. Alright. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Defcon, what? Already? Wow, that was quick. What are we at? Defcom 2. 2. Oh my goodness, this is worrying. Okay. Launching, launching the fighter planes. Right. Defend. Give them everything we got. Launch the fighters. My fleet won't be there for a while. Uh, just like yeah. That's okay. Right. I'm just Let's chucking see. airplanes at the situation and hoping that it's going to improve. While secretly knowing that it's not going to improve. No, it's not. Um. Oh my goodness, he's bombing the heck out of me. All right. That doesn't look good. No, it doesn't. But I'm hoping that he's going to sustain some casualties at least. Fingers crossed, anyway. All right. Oh, you know what? Wasn't all that bad. Wasn't all that bad engagement. I mean, as long as he loses his bombers, that's what I'm concerned about. Yeah. You usually shouldn't use bombers to attack uh, anything that has anti-air, because mm -hmm. once that happens, it's just a bit bad. Yeah. I love how you've got radar station uh, radar station in Iceland. I know, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Well, don't tell him that. You, you just... You, just ah. you told him. Right, where where's your ships? Why are uh, they not they're advancing? They're, they're, they're not. They're coming. They're no, they're very... not. Yeah, they are. No, not the uh, ones well, on the west coast. No, they're there for uh, submarine protection. No, no, you got to move in. You got to move in, buddy. I'm not okay with this. No, they're sticking there for a, like defense. Oh yeah, I'm sure they are. He's launched a nuke. Where from? <laughs> that there. submarine in the middle of nowhere for some reason. Okay, so, yeah, that submarine's gone. Yeah, the where, submarine's gone. Where is he targeting? Uh, we don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh my goodness. It's possibly right. tugged dude, from London. Dude, you see that silo? Bomb the heck out of that silo. Roger that. Alright, we're on this. We're on this, good. Oh man, this is like, this is full, full on war. Oh, he's going for the he's going for my radar in Iceland. Oh, with his, no, I'm not. With his two bombers, yeah, you are, aren't you? No. Oh, maybe you're just going for the fleet. Yeah, he's heading for the fleet. Um, however, we've got good enough uh, coverage from the silos in in uh, Europe. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Using the subs to take out the. Uh... Yeah, they're in the perfect place. <laughs> That's a really good idea. Enemy launch detected. Where is he? Is he still launching from? Right. Tell me. Give me an update on uh, on what happens. 
Okay. Does the nuke hit? Does it not hit? I don't know. I need to know. It, you have to hit a silo pretty bad to be able to destroy them. Yeah, I know. However, the person who empties their silos first, uh, they may be weaker early on, but in the late game, they just... They, they can't really attack in the late game, but they can thwart any any attempt to destroy them. Yeah. All right. However, I think a 2v1 is excellent. I think a 2v1 is fantastic, yeah. 